These days, the name Dolby is synonymous with cinema and surround sound and just top-notch audio quality all around. Really, just about the only thing it hasn't done in its 40-year history is whip up audio hardware specifically for people like you and me. Well, not anymore. The British American company revealed today its new Dimension headphones, and I'll just be blunt, these things sound amazing. That's thanks to a few things, honestly. Dolby squeezed in a pair of 40 millimeter acoustic drivers and a quad core Snapdragon chipset into these headphones. And realistically, that silicon is responsible for a lot of the heavy lifting here. There's no base station, nothing like that involved. All of the processing that makes the dimension so good at rendering spacious cinematic audioscapes happens right on the headphones. Dolby refers to this kind of super immersive audio as virtualization, and it isn't just remarkably clever marketing either. This stuff really works. Throw in other features like some handy physical controls for switching between audio sources and some head tracking stuff that actually changes the direction sound is coming from based on the way you're facing, and you have what might be one of the most impressive pairs of headphones we've tested in a long time. And if you really wanted to, you could pack these things in your bag and take them on the go. Just because you could though, doesn't mean you should. They're Bluetooth powered and they'll still sound great even on the occasional nightmare that is the New York City subway system, but there's a really big difference between wireless headphones meant for use at home like these versus ones meant for use out in the real world. We haven't run our full set of review tests yet, so the Dimensions battery life, that's still sort of a question mark. Dolby says you can get 15 hours of straight audio listening, but that's well short of what you'd get from Bose or Sony. And what you see with these things is basically what you get. They don't fold up for easier transport or anything. You know what though? We're mostly fine with that. So many devices out there try to do so much that when you find something like the Dolby Dimension with such a clear focus on its job, it's actually kind of refreshing. There are a few things to keep in mind though. Watching TVs and movies is arguably a very social experience and these don't do a thing to bring your loved ones into the mix. And I don't know if I mentioned the price tag yet, these things will cost you $600. Home theater diehards probably wouldn't bat an eyelash at that, but my wallet just started crying a little bit. There's a pretty good argument here for just buying a nice down bar instead, but look, you're an adult, you can make your own decisions. We're just here to give you some friendly advice. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.